today we are going to be making a pretty classic dim sum dish. This is one that I did not know you can make at home. It's a steamed rice roll in Mandarin. It's called changfen. In yeah. Cantonese, it's called chun fen. I don't know. I'm not very good at saying it, but it <laughs> don't laugh. So let's get started. All you need are two kinds of flour, some veggie filling of your choice, some water, and very common Asian seasonings, and that's it. The key to this recipe are these two kinds of flours. We're using Thai rice flour and tapioca starch. It's really important you use an Asian brand for the rice flour because we find that um, if you buy it from, say, like no frills, the granules are way too thick and way too large and it just won't blend as nicely. This is mm. half a cup of rice flour, quarter cup of tapioca starch. We're gonna season this with a little bit of salt and a little bit of oil. Okay. And as usual, all the amounts and ingredient list is in the description box. Yeah. And then very slowly, just add in your water. So we're just using like filtered water. You mm. can even use tap water if you like. The secret to getting that tender delicateness is yeah. by having really thin liquid here. So I want to stir this until you see no more granules left. Mm -hmm. And then we're ready for the next step. So usually people order either the vegetarian one or the seafood one with shrimps. Personally, I love the vegetarian one. So we're just using some Chinese leafy greens and some oyster mushrooms. So we only want the leafy part of the veggie. So you can just save this for something else. And this one. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Slice it in half, cut them into diagonal slices. A little bit of oil in a pan, keep it on about medium high. And then give it a few seconds for it to just heat up a little bit. Then put in your mushrooms. As soon as you see the mushrooms kind of wilt, season it with a little bit of oyster sauce. Now, if you want it to be truly vegetarian, you can use a vegetarian oyster sauce. And then that's good. They don't have to be fully, fully cooked. They will finish cooking as you steam them. Before we make the roll itself, we are going to make the sauce. This is really what's going to give it all of its flavor. Really simple, we have some soy sauce, some water, some sugar, sesame oil. So it's been about 30 seconds on high. You just want the sugar to melt. And as soon as it starts like bubbling a little bit, it is ready. Okay, this is ready. We're going to turn this off and set it aside. Now you want to turn on the water for your steamer. Normally when this is made in a dim sum house, they have a giant drawer that was made with like a special kind of like cheese cloth. It's like this big and they're able to wrap it. Yeah. So at home, obviously we can't do that. This is a method my mom came up with. Um, I have to say it's pretty genius. You need two plates that's as flat as possible. So this is what we have at home. It's not perfectly flat, but it will still work. Mm -hmm. But if you have like one of those steak plates, those are perfect. Okay, so this is how we have our steamer set up. It's just a big wok with some water at the bottom and one of these steamer racks. Get yourself a paper towel with some oil and cover every single part of the plate, even the edges. Make even. sure that even. it is even. Yeah. So it doesn't like run off to one side and one side of your rice roll is thicker. So we are going to heat this up until steam starts forming and then we're ready for the next step. The plate is pretty hot and you can hear the water bubbling. Actually, we're going to do a test one just to see if it's, you know, the right texture. Um, because depending on the different brands of the flour you're using, it might have different absorbency rate. So we'll see if it's too soft, we'll add a little bit more flour. If it's too hard, then we'll add more water. Let's see. It's really soft and delicate. Let's try it a little bit. Okay. In China, is it with that? Mm. Mm. Oh, it's really soft. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, it's really mm. good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, just Let's give it a taste. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Okay, okay, I was to clean the place. Okay. I will eat it. Yeah. Let's do it. Mmm. Okay, now let's do it for real. This one, I also have oil. We're going to put it in again. I'm gonna turn it back onto a high so the plate can heat up one more time. If you don't have a wok, you can also use a steamer. Just make sure you can fit the plate in as well as put a lid on top like this. For the sake of efficiency, we have two plates rotating in and out. You do have to clean it after every roll you make. So it will take a little bit of time, but it's kind of a fun like family activity, I would say. Now you're going to make sure that you stir this so that 
nothing is settled at the bottom. Gently swirl your pan so that it covers the base. And cover with a lid. And you're going to wait about one minute just for it to solidify a tiny little bit before you add in the filling. All right, so it's been about a minute and you can see that it's solid now. We're just putting a very thin layer for some color and some freshness. Lay them right in the center just like that. I want a little bit more green. Cover it again. And you just want to wait until the greens are cooked. So I would say that would take about 45 seconds to another minute. The timing is estimate. You want to just judge by eyes. It's okay if you lift it up. Um, one thing though, you do have to be careful with the steam. Make sure that you don't let the water drip into the rice roll. Okay, this is ready. You want to get yourself one of these rubber spatulas. And then gently, it's a pushing in, pulling up motion. It will be very sticky, that's totally fine. It's exactly supposed to be like that. Wait until it cools down a little bit so that it won't be as sticky when you touch it. Uh, no, 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 not that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's water, isn't it? 